He had nine points. Drew Valentine, the youngest head coach in Division One, only 30 years old. Uh, his team's got its hands full, but they've kind of weathered a storm because Lucas Williamson, their leading scorer, did have two fouls and sat for a majority of that first half. Dana Ford has to worry about him back in on the floor to begin the second half. Mosley gets to work right away. Williamson, the closest defender, but Mosley, second chance shot. And Missouri stayed up three. Yeah, he is in zombie mode right now, scoring the basketball. It's almost like Reggie Jackson and Naked Gun. Just give me ball, I will score. Checking a four-point lead for the Bears. There's a three from Williamson. He had two early fouls in the first half. Blocking traffic. Layup doesn't fall. And then a ball on the deck. There is a loose ball foul. And it keeps the ball here with Loyola Chicago. Chase Freedom unlimited on the floor right now to begin the second half. And again, the attention to that matchup between Isaiah Mosley and Lucas Williamson. Top scorer for Missouri State. Top defender for Loyola Chicago. Kennedy tracks. Goes up anyway. Too strong off glass. Ubach gets the ricochet. Norris for his fourth three. Too strong. Addison's a lead guard. Likes to post up. Contested three by Clay. Doesn't even draw iron. Prim the O-board. And the lefty hook is true. You know, if I'm Clay, I'm telling Prim that was a pass. That was a, just a, a post entry there because that ball was way short. That's not Is his that strength. Why the Zerbiak's last assist on one of those? Hudson, <laughs> three ball. And once again, Udwa, right place, right time for the offensive rebound. And three offensive rebounds. Those end up burning you if that keeps happening for Missouri State. Start the second half. This lead for Missouri State. Williamson bangs into Brim. Offensive foul. Third foul for Williamson. Gage Prim is an old savvy vet. He was an All-American at the junior college level. He just does all the little things. The best rebounder in the Valley. And, you know, when you get two fouls in that first half, you're always kind of searching for that momentum play and trying to find that rhythm. Loyola. They've only made one of their last 11 field goals, and Williamson goes to the bench right now. I think Drew Valentine's going to set a spark on their 50-year player. And as a defender, are you aware of that offensive player having two fouls or more likely to try to step in and take a charge? Oh, especially against the leading scorer, no doubt. Mosley, it's true. So the best defender, the defensive player of the year in the conference last season, Lucas Williamson out, and Mosley goes right to work for point number 20. They just have no answer right now as Isaiah Mosley's in what we like to call the zone. Rugwak delivers corner. Kennedy, Nick clock. Rises and fires. Gets his own board. Marquis Kennedy will head to the line. Missouri State. An eight-point lead here on the road against Loyola Chicago. Here's what's at stake. Again, Loyola Chicago, 30 straight wins here at home. They haven't lost here since game late December against Davidson. The last time they lost a Missouri Valley Conference game at home, it was Missouri State beating them in February 2019. Uh, Keith Kennedy from here in Chicago played at Brother Rice High School, coached by the All-American. Bob Frazier, so many great players out of Brother Rice, Rico Hill, Dave T. Lander, Mark T. Lander, those guys could certainly shoot it from deep. The city next has produced a ton of talent. Mosley. Grim double. Patterson, not much of a shooter. Just 4 for 25 from deep this season. And Steph Black. Long. Oh, board for Clay. 
Gage Prim is calling for that ball down low. He's working hard. Yeah, feed the big guy. He wants it. Senior from Aurora, Colorado is fouled. Prim took the charge. That was Williamson's third foul. And rewarded with a post touch. Chris Knight's first. Missouri State's playing their best basketball of the season. They've won six of seven games, and even their loss was an 85-84 loss, a game I called against Northern Iowa. They have not been intimidated from the word go here in Chicago. That Northern Iowa game, 43 points for Mosley. That time draws the attention of two, sets up Prim, misses the teardrop. All right, now you got to figure out right now, Chris, who's going to be the guy who's going to score? For Loyola, no Lucas Williamson. Who's going to make go out there and make shots? Where do you go? I think it's going to end up being this guy right here with the ball, Schwieger, the Princeton transfer. Hall fires a three, can't get it to fall. They need someone who can stop the bleeding right now because a three here, and all of a sudden it's ten. Right on cue, there it is. Jamonte Black, 42% from downtown, first three ball, first double digit lead for Missouri State. Timeout, Loyola Chicago, providing some offense, nine points. Oh, he's been huge. He had a great drive in the first half with the left hand, then he finished baseline with the dunk. At 6'8, he can guard multiple positions. This is going to be the first possession we see of zone. A 1 2 2 slash 2 3 for Missouri State. Get the ball to the free throw line, then an immediate whip to the wing. Chris Knight, talented senior off the bench, a transfer from Dartmouth, draws a foul. Loyola Chicago, work to do. Behind by 10. They won 30 in a row at home. More. So it's a spot where they're familiar with. And Drew Valentine team falling behind in games does that speak more about focus coming in what's the reason for a team falling behind like that a team as talented as this yeah you know, it's really hard to explain i'm sure drew valentine doesn't want to keep coming from behind but they're gonna need someone to stop the bleeding right now and lucas williamson checks back in the game i think he might end up being the guy as tate hall misses on the fadeaway mention Williamson back in with the three fouls. Though he's off of Mosley on this possession. Mosley already with 20 points for Missouri State. Off the mark that time. Like I said, I think it's going to be 13 or 1 for Loyola. They got to get going offensively. Top field goal percentage, three point percentage, and three point mix team in the Missouri Valley. Three pointer in and out from Norris. Right now, Loyola. Four for 21 from three, so you got to mix it up a little bit. I know they love shooting the three and shoot it at a high rate, but it's just not going in this afternoon. Mosley off the double team. Late shot clock, but he's comfortable. Quick first step, bangs it to the defender, and a foul. Isaiah Mosley. Strength for the junior from Columbia, Missouri. If you watch the conference, you know how talented this guy is. And he was on a stretch with three straight 30 plus games. He had 43 against you and I, 33 against Southern Illinois, and then followed it up with 32 against Valpo. But when you do it against a top 25 team in a big city like Chicago, a star is born here. I open it. In and out on the free throw. He is 91% or at the line. And like I said, I would get it to Lucas Williamson. You gotta get something right now. You're settling for way too many jumpers. Norris flings it in the air and say it was last touched by Norris. They've just seen out of sync Loyola. Coming into this game, averaging almost 80 points a game. Last out. Talk about being instinct. They trashed Evansville by 29 points. They shot 72% in the first half. Last two second halves, Loyola has combined for 81 points, shooting nearly 60% in those second halves. Isaac Haney in and out. And here comes Loyola Chicago. Well, that was a big miss right there. Transition step in three, St. Thomas, the freshman.
Loyola Chicago's dug out of holes. All Missouri Valley Conference play. They've trailed at the half five of their six league games. Meaning that the conference's top two teams. Mosley, best scorer in the league over the last four. Bumped and fouled, and if that's Williamson, that's number four. Last year's Defensive Player of the Year in the Missouri Valley Conference is four fouls. And that's what he was known as earlier in his career. It was his fifth year with the program, but over the last five games, he's been averaging 16 points a game, but now at four fouls, he's going to have to go to the bench. Mosley continues to be a problem. Brent at mid post. Patterson cuts. Leaves for play. Beautiful basketball from Missouri State. H. Prim just does so many little things, whether it's create space or take a charge. He's been excellent in this game today on both ends of the floor. Schwager provides that scoring punch off the bench. Ugwak runs into two. Brian Schwager needs three. In and out. Tip up by Ugwak. He's fouled. What a show of athleticism. From a hero block. Missouri State's playing their best basketball of the year because they're doing this. They're sharing the ball. They're really understanding their roles. I called the game earlier this year for Missouri State. They hosted BYU, and at the time, BYU was ranked 12th in the country. That was a game that Isaiah Mosley played only seven minutes. He did not score. And I thought for Dana Ford that was going to end up being a crossroads of his year. And how has Mosley responded? Well, he's playing exceptional basketball. You see what he did against BYU. And then since then, 23 points a game. So I talked to him for the game. I said, what was it? He said, that was a shock to my system. I needed that. I said, I, I told him, I go, I'm proud of you as a former baller. Great job responding. He goes, expect a big performance today. And he's delivered. Within that stretch, he hit the game winner against Bradley at the buzzer. And since that buzzer beater, he's averaged 33 points per game since. Zone here for Loyola. And watch out for Mosley. He was ready to lock and load from three. He gets bumped, nearly turns it over. Missouri State keeps. Mosley. Baseline teardrop. Are you serious? He has the complete bag here in Chicago. 24 of Missouri State's 50 points go to the 6'5 junior from Missouri. The Schwieger have an answer. A whistle by Winston Stith. He has been a magician scoring the ball at all the levels, whether it's pull-up jump shots, he's been physical. He is just an amazing offensive groove, and with no Lucas Williamson, because he's got four fouls, Mosley has just repeatedly has his, had his way. I feel like I failed as a journalist. I didn't get the name of the dog. In traffic, Marquise Kennedy, it's off the mark, and up 11 points, Missouri State with the basketball. Look at the end, a 30-game home winning streak for Loyola Chicago, and Mosley, wow, 26! Night fade. And a rebound brought in by Lynette. Now, if you're Loyola Chicago, Lucas Williamson, perhaps the top player on the team, certainly the best defender. He's on the bench with four. How late do you let it go before you think about bringing him back in? Well, when you're watching this guy just put on a show right now, Isaiah Mosley. Thank you for the entertainment. 28 of Missouri State's 54. I think the answer to your question is going to be probably the eight-minute mark because no one seems to be able to stop this guy. No one in the league has been able to stop him as of late. You know what I love about his game? The pace that he plays at. Like, he sees a freshman on him, and 
And Wally Zerbiak made this comparison at halftime, and I absolutely love it from Wally, who was an amazing scorer at Miami of Ohio. He called him Jamal Crawford, and it's true because he has that shake and bake in his game. He may not have the crossover like Jamal, but he has that same scores mentality, just creates space and is able to finish. There's Jamal Crawford, Seattle's finest. The last foul on Luke Patterson from Missouri State. That is his fourth. St. Thomas. Lost it high. Shot clock late. Kennedy has to launch. Nowhere close. Twenty-three home Missouri Valley Conference wins in a row for Loyola Chicago. Haven't lost at home in the league since February of 2019 against Missouri State. Mosley looking to make it a repeat. Clay wants three. Give him three. 18-point lead for Missouri State. Last nine have gone the way of the Bears. Oguak contested, but it doesn't matter. Had to sidestep the catch, but delivers a three to end the nine-nothing run. Well, I don't think it's scoring, right? They're going to get stops, Lil, and they just don't have an answer right now for number one on the Bears. Only the second made field goal for Lil of this half. There's a stop in the form of a turnover. See if the Ramblers can get back to back buckets. <laughs> Perimeter hand check foul. And you can see what Loyola might try to do here. Watch how two guys are on Isaiah Mosley and then the extra pass. Hey, Donovan Clay's not a three-point shooter, but he was able to get his feet set. And you can see the confidence that Missouri State is playing with right now. But this game early was all Loyola. Williamson had made a three. Crowd was going crazy, but Dana Ford's group never panicked. Ugwak looking for back-to-back -back threes, and Mosley pulls in the miss. And see, you lose Williamson on the defensive end, but you also lose him on the offensive end. He's like that calming force that you look to, and you're like, all right, everything's okay. It's, he's been around the block. He's played in Final Fours, and you can see how disjointed Loyola looks on offense. There's a freshman on that Final Four team from 2018. This Williamson's 100th start, that experience. That sidestep Mosley, three! Bullseye! What a shot for Mosley, US 31. You're just laughing over there. Some of the absurd shot making. Does Kennedy have a response? It's wayward. Prim the rebound. Missouri State's Mosley slows it up, up 18. Dana Ford and I made eye contact, and he just looked at me after that last three and was just shrugged his shoulders, almost like Jordan against <laughs> the Trailblazers. Like, what else do you want me to do? Here he is again. Isoed up. Teardrop. Count it. It is the Isaiah Mosley Show in Chicago. Even the teammates are impressed. Scored 11 of the team's last 14. Clay hit a three on the other. Isaiah Mosley against the rank of home points against BYU. And he flat out told me before the game he needed that. That changed his season. He has been outstanding. Game in and game out. And I think he benefited in this game from Lucas Williamson getting in foul trouble. But then again... I don't know right now. It doesn't look like anybody can stop him, Chris. I mean, as Marquise Kennedy at the free throw line in the one and one connects on both. I was like, you saw him score zero points in a game. What can be done to stop a player like that? Right now in this zone, I would send two guys at him. Like, do you remember that possession where Clay made the three? Like, I, I, that's who I, I would let Donovan Clay shoot threes. Like, I would get him in rotation, just strictly get the ball out of his hands because the rhythm he's in is unbelievable. Gets the ball in his hands here. Chance to make a play. Leaves it off. And Dawson Carper punishes the defense.
And that time he got rid of it. Norris sneaks through. Well, I think there's something to be learned in this game for Loyola and a guy like Lucas Williamson. And I tell kids this all the time. It's not that you can't play hard in the first half, but you just can't get two fouls. And by picking up two fouls, he went to the bench. He lost his rhythm. Those two fouls early in the first half. He picked up an offensive foul early in the second half for his third. Scoop up and in by Jacob Hudson. A couple in a row for Loyola Chicago. And a quick timeout. Dawson Carper for the easy finish. And he's just been doing it all in this spot. And like I said, I, if I'm Drew Valentine, it's probably a little too late to start doubling, but I'd still start to double him because the rhythm he is in right now is so good. Lucas Williamson's back in the game with those four fouls. He's matched up with Mosley, top of the screen. How about this press from Loyola, Chicago? They deployed it the last couple of possessions. Mosley slows it down. 33 points. As a block on him, there's the help. Picks corner. Patterson turns down a three. Mosley instead fires. Long, but a rebound for Missouri State. And that allows the clock to wind down a bit more. Play operates. Draw back, finds Prim hanging out in the paint all alone. And Missouri State back up 18. They couldn't draw it up any better there. Basically a 50-second possession that ends in a bucket. Braden Norris, career 45%er from three. Hit three early. Relatively quiet since. Good here. The attention of Dana Ford trying to get Patterson to be aware of the double team. And a foul on the sideline as Mosley draws contact. And you see the versatility of a guy like Donovan Clay at six foot eight, keeping that ball alive, and then just a great, perfect pass. See how he left it up there? Sometimes guys get in that lane, and it's like a hot potato. They throw it a little bit too fast, puts excellent touch, and Prim's able to finish. How important is it when delivering it to a big to throw it up high so they don't have to go down to catch it? Well, the, sometimes it's better to throw it soft because everyone rifles the ball to them. It puts a lot of pressure on big guys. Play again. This time elevates Prim. Offensive rebound swings the elbows. There is a foul on Loyola Chicago. Foul call right now is going to send Braden Norris for the free throw line. I want to know what the refs are saying throughout the game. Like almost an alternate stream of the referees. Yeah, that would be. You know, talk about like these alternate broadcasts all over the place. Just like focused in on refs, ref camps, and it would hold them accountable. I don't want to hear what they're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> You can hear the details of the call and how they like their steaks. Get, get, get a little bit of both. I think they've, that they've done an outstanding job in this game because we haven't talked about it. Yeah. I think anytime you don't mention the referees, that means they're doing their job. And the fouls that Luca, Lucas Williamson picked up was deservedly so. Now that changed the complexion of the game when he got in foul trouble. And now it should be Missouri State ball. Game of Ford is animated on the sidelines coach you're up 16 with four minutes left and then with the ruling of a flagrant that gives possession to loyola chicago a flagrant foul means that they get the ball after it so the foul that was initially called was on norris flagrant foul then issued to missouri state which gives loyola chicago the ball and a three-pointer by williamson off three triggers and hits and a foul underneath This is going to be interesting because Prim and Knight were going at it. They might have a hook and hold here. Check out down low, 44. And a tough to see from that angle. But right under the basket there. He gets a big body spline. They're going the other direction right now. Looks like Prim's going to go to the free throw line. Here they are down here. Knight with the foul. The 23 that you see for Loyola Chicago. 
Dartmouth transfer on the foul sends Prim to the line. Who's a 78% free throw shooter? Loyola Chicago within 13. Front end misses. Well, if they hit a three here, this place is going to erupt, Chris. Schmieger is the player who's going to hit one. Inside the line, cross court pass. Somehow, gets to Norris. Gets loose. Fires. And there it is. The explosion. Eight in a row for Loyola Chicago. They commit the foul. Ahir Uguat in the backboard, his third. A great job by Norris. See how he relocated to open space? That's just a guy who understands his game. But this is the guy you do not want to be sending to the free throw line. One of the best free throw shooters in all of college basketball. One and one for Mosley. 91% shooter. Oh, and by the way, He's got 34 points in this game. So of all the guys you want to foul, that probably was not a smart play by Loyola. Anybody else besides Mosley probably would have been a smarter option. Perfect on two. Didn't stare what I mean, like Patterson or Graham or Clay. You don't want to put a guy to the free throw line that has 35 points and a 90% free throw shoot. That's the last thing you want to do. A high volume, too. He gets to the line a lot. And he's not going to be rattled by that situation. Now, if you're Loyola, it's really first good look. Uh, it's got to go up. Norris's pass is tipped. Rambler's feet. They have a 30-game home winning streak, the fourth longest active in the country. Yeah, but the last time they lost at home in the Valley, Chris, who was it to? Missouri State, February 2019. 23 straight conference wins at home since. Williamson's battle foul shot Longy. and Longy makes such a difference for Loyola Chicago. Yeah, I would foul Clay, I would foul Patterson, I just would not foul Mosley again, and they're obviously looking for him. Largest lead of 20s cut in half. Whistle, is that a tie up? Timeout before the tie-up. On the sidelines. This team's trying to make a dramatic comeback here. It'll be interesting to see if they play defense for the next 23 seconds on the shot clock. Or if they decide to foul, would not foul number one. It is one-on-one. -on -one. Number one, Mosley. Number one, Williamson. Haven't had as much chances to play one-on-one -on -one with Williamson in foul trouble. Norris commits the foul against Patterson, who's just a 56% free throw shooter. This is good execution here. The crowd's going to make Patterson the sophomore from Minnesota earn it here. They're going to get really rowdy. One and one for Lukai Patterson. First the whistle as a result of a stop from the scorer's table. See Braden Norris right there getting a talk from Drew Valentine. Norris, point guard, has been steady. I actually go back to the book to count out the fouls, and it was the 10th team foul, so it is the double bonus for Lukai Patterson. So that's a big difference. He gets two free throws. see the Loyola players that make or miss he was gonna get another one I think he hit every part of the rim there first point of the game does hit both back to a 12-point lead Williamson curls, glides to the rim. And 
double figures. And they're going to need to get a steal here. Let's see if they play good defense until they get over half court. Bounce pass away from Mosley out of bounds. So that press from the Ramblers gets the desired result. I can see Drew Valentine talking to Lucas Williamson here. Look for number one to get the ball on the out of bounds play. Loyola ball, they trail by 10. Haven't had many turnovers either team. Norris, slippery. Rugwak goes low, rises up. Oh, that was close. Tough rebound. Saved near the corner. Loyola Chicago keeps. Schwieger delivers. Back to an eight point game. There's that Rambler press. Patterson zooms across the timeline, gets fouled, and the 56% free throw shooter back to the line. What tremendous effort here from Loyola Chicago. They were down 20 of Lincoln of the eye ago, and look how everyone's out there hustling, fighting. Look at Lucas Williamson. He was on his fanny, got up, kept that ball alive, and now Patterson back to the free throw line where converted two last time. Three for three. Missouri State, 79% as a team from the free throw. Best in the Missouri Valley. Four for four. Lukai Patterson, key free throws late second half. Norris shovels. There. Loyola Chicago getting the offense. Gonna get some missed free throws. Trap. Dribbles out of bounds. It stays with Missouri State. And Norris with the sweet dish. Problem is you're trading two for two here. Chris. Mix in a three and hope for some missed free throws. Mosley gets it ripped away by the defensive player of the year in the Missouri Valley, but Williamson turns it over immediately after. And then a foul on Schwieger. A great hands there by Williamson, but then, hey, equally good hands by Jamonte Black. Steal that ball right back. Could have cut this game to six or maybe even five. So the 91 percenter misses the four in a row were made by the 56 percenter. One of two. Thirty game home win streak on the line. Schrieger for three. There it is for Loyola Chicago within seven. Mosley traps Patterson. They don't foul Patterson. Well, Missouri State runs down the clock. That's it. You foul here. I wouldn't now. Now you play straight up. I would not foul now. Oh, there is the foul on Ugwa against Isaiah Mosley. Yeah, you want to know something? I, I think that's. The Loyola coaching staff, that was their problem right there. When the clock got to six, they need to be coaching up Ugwak as he Schwieger buries the three. They were encouraging the pressure, and he took it as to foul. And you got a young coaching staff there. Drew Valentine's done a great job. And, you know, Ugwak should also know better. You know, he's a fifth year player, the transfer from New Mexico. He sees the shot clock as well. He should always know time and score, and well, he fell asleep there. Mosley makes it a three possession lead. 38 point game for Mosley. Inbounds pass. 
Rambles in danger for a second there. Ramblers have to go quick. Williamson doubled. Norris finds Knight in the paint. Allows them to set up the press. Down six. They get a foul ASAP, but you don't want to foul Mosley. Instead, they foul Clay. Yeah, if you're Dana Ford, you'll keep giving up two for either one or two free throws. Donovan Clay goes to the free throw line. This is interesting about Clay here. He only shoots 30% from three. But on the flip side, very good free throw shooter, over 80% on the season. Does connect on the first. That makes it a three possession game, a seven point lead with 36.9 left. Bring back Patterson in for his defense. And if I'm Dana Ford, I have both feet above the three point line. Absolutely no threes here. You're willing to give up the two. Williamson, contested triple, shorts. Rebound brought in by Mosley. He doesn't want to get rid of it. Chance to get to his 40th point at the free throw line. And more importantly for Missouri State, and the 30-game home winning streak for Loyola Chicago. Well, pretty amazing that their last home loss in conference play to see Drew Valentine's the look of disbelief. Last home loss in conference play to Dana Ford and Missouri State, and now a chance for a 40-burger for Mosley. He scored 43 against Northern Iowa just a few games ago in a loss. Wally Zerbiak tweeting out, hashtag, flamethrower. And he does get 40. 40 burger in Chicago. And a 10 point lead. Norris zigzags, layup off, prim rebounds. And it looks like Loyola Chicago backs off. The 10 wins in a row, gone. 23 Missouri Valley Conference home wins in a row, done. 30 game home winning streak completes. Missouri State comes into Chicago behind the 40 points of Isaiah.